Listen to me. When I say you're not going to fucking believe that this title is real, just fucking get ready. Man is so afraid of HIV, he won't go near a gay man. That is no... <laughs> what? This is one of those dudes that like takes a shower and thinks like semen is going to swim up from another person's shower. What a fucking dickhead. Let's see what this shit is, bro. When I wake up in the morning, I, I think about HIV, and when I go to bed at night, I'm thinking about HIV. Kevin also needs therapy. A blood transfusion has triggered an obsessive fear of the AIDS virus, HIV. A blood transfusion. That's the backstory. I bet this dude thinks Spider-Man is a metaphor, a giant metaphor for being gay. <laughs> bet he don't wash his ass because he feels like it will turn him gay. Bruh, that man got a shitty ass. That man got a shitty ass. I always make sure I thoroughly rinse my toothbrush off in case my gums have bled because I don't want to get it on my wife's toothbrush or my daughter's, which is usually there. He's had three negative AIDS tests, but still fears he could infect his wife and child. <laughs> I give it a good rinse off, just in case, really, I've got cuts or anything on my finger, just to make sure that I don't put any blood on there, really, to pass on to her. A group of hypochondriacs have come to this remote country house for a long weekend of intense therapy. Their psychiatrist is Dr. Florian Ruths. Look, man, I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm a hypochondriac, I'm not trusting anybody with that fucking busted strawberry haircut right there. That man got strawberry leaves on the top of his shit. What's your trigger? Because yours was blood, wasn't yeah. it? Mine's cancer. Yeah. Headache, I've got tumor. Yes. Pain's in here, I've got heart attack, I'm going to die. <laughs> This fucking dude's face. Tablet. You should have seen me trying to get them in me. <gasps> he's he's scared in this room. Look at the way he's sitting right there. He's at the fucking edge of that table. He's like, all right, bitch, don't cough this way. They should have fucked the whole vibe up and just brought a gay dude in there. <laughs> just a flamboyant gay dude in there. Just hello. And he's like, oh. Kevin's first therapy session will take place in a public toilet. Intrigued to know what's what's going to happen, really. His fear of the AIDS virus means he's terrified of blood. Let's just put it a bit of here and then kind of... And Dr. Roots has planted some fake blood on the toilet and basin. <laughs> they should have they should have took it up. They should have took it to a hundred. First try. It's midnight. And he's just walking him down through those tiny streets. And he's like, where are we going? So I'll just have a look over here. Just keep your eyes closed. We just Then the host goes into a gay club. Hits the fucking urinal with crazy amounts of blood. All right, so we're in a gay bar. And uh, we're going to try to have Steven try to take a piss in there. And then they just take Steven inside the club. And they fucking take the blindfold off. And they lock the door. And that motherfucker's just like... <gasps> Who said he instantly nuts? Oh my god, dude. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I finished in me trousers. Have to use both hands for that and just, just touch the lock as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kevin's encouraged to face up to his fear by wiping his hands around the bloodstained toilet. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm with Ke I'm with Kevin a little bit. That's fucking nasty. I don't care what your fucking phobia is. Rub a fucking toilet with your bare hand. Just He's then encouraged to put his head inside the toilet. This shit is harder than scared straight, bro. I can still see I've got something red on my finger. Oh, what does that mean? Um, I want to wipe it off. I really want to get it off my hand. Yeah, and what do you think it may mean if you've got... It may mean that there could be some blood on my finger. Yeah. I want to get off. For someone who yeah. actually believes that AIDS is going to get him, this dude is handling this like a fucking pro. He's like, yeah, yeah, I, I could yeah. have fucking AIDS right now, but I'm going to stand here. I'm going to I'm gonna get committed. What's your worst fear that might have happened now? That I may have got HIV positive blood on my finger. Yeah. <laughs> what if the host is like, yeah, okay, right. I want you to take that blood, rub it, right here on my lips, and call me daddy's little boy. Can you do that? You want me to do that? <laughs> Oh, up, <laughs> up, up. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Look! Okay. He did it. He fucking did it. I can't believe he made him do that. That shit is crazy, dude. An hour later, Kevin finally gets to wash his hands. An hour later? Oh my god, dude. Debriefing the group today for the first time they were all saying. <laughs> is this guy even a doctor? Oh, they're definitely actors, but come on, we're playing along. 
We're definitely playing a lot. But tomorrow, anxiety levels will be pushed up even further. Even further. When they have to eat shit from each other's mouths. Kevin's irrational fear of the AIDS virus means he's scared of homosexuals. So <laughs> oh, Mike. Bro, look at the fucking panic. My guy is tripping. You know what, though? This video is obviously old as fuck, and the only thing that makes me think it could be real is the fact that people were like this. People actually were in fear of fucking HIV and AIDS like this shit, dude. Like, depending on how old this is, this could be that time period when people were fucking like that, man. So, <clears throat> let's see. Really knows about going in here. Kevin fears he could contract the virus by being in the same room as a gay man. <laughs> They're already laughing at his ass. They're like, get in here, bitch. Get in here. How would you feel about going to the barn and perhaps ordering some more stuff as well? There might be something I touch that someone else has touched that where they might be bleeding or mm -hmm. have something on their hands or... This is the closest Kevin's ever been to a real live gay man. <laughs> oh my god! Like it's fucking National Geographic. Get the fuck out of here. This is the closest he's ever been to a gay man. Unbeknownst to Kevin, he's about to walk into a group of real life gay men. Bro, that's the next Netflix documentary. Taking fucking redneck dudes from Kentucky and just dropping them off in West Hollywood. Now Dr. Ruths wants him to touch the barman's hand. I just want to say thank you for, for letting us do this in here and pre appreciate your cooperation. Okay. His hand felt a little wet, damp when I shook his hand, so... He turned into fucking Clint Eastwood right there. Get your fucking gay mitts off of my hands. His hand, it, it felt like gay was on it. <laughs> Kevin must now confront his ultimate fear. Tom, who is gay and HIV positive. <laughs> no! The big one. No! This is harder than Scared Straight. This is so good. Okay. It's terrified, bro. Hi there. Hi. Uh, come in, have a seat over here. Will do, thank you. Right. They chose the most menacing gay man on earth. Chili said Walter White. <laughs> gay Walter White. Bro, look at that fucking forehead, dude. Actually, he more makes me think of like gay Professor X. <laughs> it's just. Kevin, I've heard a lot about you. Kevin, you know I run a special school for people like you. What if I told you there were more like you, afraid of me, but we all had something in common? We all have AIDS. I believe you're acquainted with a special friend of mine, Spider-Man. <laughs> this is the first time you've been in a room where the virus is in that room. But you know, unless mm. I had bleeding hands and shook your bleeding hands. Yes, um, it's just not a risk. It's not a risk. Yeah. Mm. It's not a risk, but just pulls out a fucking blade real quick. Now it is. Hands to the mat, Kevin. We're going to wrestle. Thank okay. you very much for yeah. coming here. And, um... I don't say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Tom. I Great. I really do thank yeah, you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Tom, Tom makes sure to give him that extra fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. You scared, bitch? Huh? You scared? You feel that? You feel like, ah, AIDS, fucking pussy. Get out of here. I'm so amazed that you, you know, you... I'm completely right. So I have gone a bit funny now. <laughs> just after shaking his hand, but I did want to, because I yeah. thought such a lovely man, and I, I know there's no... There's no risk or anything. Yeah. Uh, you've blown a lot of my theories out of the water yet again. Oh my fucking God, bro. That's the funniest fucking video we've ever watched on stream. Hands fucking down. Let's fucking give Kevin a hand. As ignorant as he may have been, if that was a time where people really fucking thought like that and he was that, you know, ah, it's gonna get me. He pushed through, he committed, whatever. I'm just trying to see the positive. I know we could say he might still be homophobic and that may be true, but I'm trying to see the positive, man, which is uh, he, didn't, uh, he didn't bitch up and he didn't double down. And if he really shook that man's hand on his own, then I commend him at least for opening up and not doubling down on his bullshit. By the way, um, if we end up clipping this out for uh, YouTube, and you're watching this on YouTube, remember, you can always hang with us live, real time, okay? Twitch.tv slash Noel. Slash Noel Miller. Oops. <laughs> <laughs>